Hello and welcome back to another Let's Roll Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. I am Theron, the Dalish Elf. Uh, they're calling me the Herald, I'm part of the Inquisition, to shut down the Breach. And there's many of there's rips in the Fade, and there's many of them all over, apparently. I hope there's not too many, otherwise, uh, especially if they're growing. I don't know who's behind it, but we heard a very loud voice. We assume it's whoever's behind uh, the Breaches. Uh, they should start calling them in plural, because... There's not just one. Okay, so we have some people to talk to. We were it's in Haven. Let's see. Best and brightest. To speak with the Smith, the Quartermaster, and the Apothecary. I don't know who this guy is, but I believe this woman, her name is Thren. If you're here to clean, Hess can get you a bucket and a broom. Anyone calls you knife here, come to me. Oh, you're him. <laughs> Thren. Inquisition Quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. If you find what I need to fill one of my requisitions, I'd appreciate you bringing it in. One of her requisitions? That's odd, actually. What do you do here? I make sure the Inquisition troops have food in their bellies and iron in their hands. Both are important. Lots of people expecting us to be heroes, marching all day to fight the demons. Turns out heroes need to dig latrines just like everyone else. How does someone end up as quartermaster for the Inquisition? I served for Eldon under Ten Logan McTeer, best commanding officer this world has ever seen. After they all turned on him at Denerim, though, there wasn't much use for people who held that opinion. King Alistair offered my services to the Inquisition, probably to get rid of me. Shem politics. Apparently, Ferelden seemed like a little bit of a up. The word be, almost like a upstart newcomer in a way, in uh, politics, from what I've been taught. Uh, Orlay doesn't particularly perceive them very well. At least a lot of them, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on, Orlay, but I know that there's some duke is fighting with the empress, for control of the nation, which is not a good thing. Um, word is that things were a little bit easier for the elves. Not so much the Dalish, because we had little contact with uh, the nations, the human, the Shemlin nations, but for the city elves, yes, um, things are a little easier under the Empress, but we know I've also heard Gaspard, is his name? The Duke Gaspard? I could have that name wrong. He doesn't like elves particularly. <laughs> Things will not be better with him. I hope, if I ever get the chance, if I get to meet the Empress, uh, or even support her for her aid in this fight against the Breach and the Demons, uh, that's the path that I will choose. King Alistair offered my service in the Inquisition, probably to get rid of me. With that attitude, I can't imagine how you made enemies in Denerim. People just don't want to hear the truth. I was at Ostagar, and I know what really happened. King Kalen overextended his position, and the Grey Wardens were too late lighting the signal. Following the original plan would have gotten everyone killed. Turn Loghain made the right decision. I, I apologize. Sister Liliana told me I shouldn't talk about this. Just forget it. <laughs> what did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this Inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. We're stretched thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find some iron and a good logging site. Maybe Harrit can get our troops better weapons. Iron and a logging site, okay. If I have material for a special order, do I bring it to you? Just take it over there. One of my boys will take the materials or jot down what you found. Farewell. Make a go with you. Study of the Fifth Blight, Volume 1. Well, it's something I'll have to read on my own, I suppose. Inspect uh, requisitions. Not enough materials for this schematic. Craft materials. Craft one item, one... Okay, logging stand and five iron. Our soldiers require additional weapons if they are to be effective. Reward one, plus one power. I suppose that means plus one power in our war to seal the breaches. Thanks for checking, anyway. Interesting. And there's a chest here. Which is being a little bit of a pain. Okay. 
Can I not? F? Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna spend all day on it. I'm gonna have a look around. So we're heretics, just like that. Should we surrender or? Don't be foolish. We are the Chantry, as much as any Grand Cleric. That prattle from Valroyo isn't the word of the Maker. It's politics. A lot of the people don't feel that uh, this is a legitimate organization, that we're heretics. Some people are having doubts, at least, anyways. Any more elf fruit around here? Yes. A third, my th oh, actually, it's my third or fourth piece of elf fruit. Or cash, catch of elf fruit. What does this game remind me of? Um, it kind of and all the games in the Dragon Age. I mean, Bioware puts out a lot of like conversation-heavy rom uh, relationship, romance, and and friendship type. Uh, the Conclave was our best chance for peace. Type games. The Divine, the Mages, the Templars, everyone ready to talk. You all right, sir? And now all of, of them course. Dead. I'm saying it kind of reminds me of a cross between Skyrim and Baldur's Gate in a way. A Tale of the Frostbacks. Even mountains had a heart once. Oh, I'm reading and things are still going on around me. When the world was young, Korath the Mountain Father kept his throne at the peak of the Belenos, the mountain at the center of the world from which he could see all the corners of the earth and sky. And he saw strong men become weak, brave men grow cowardly, and wise men turn, for, turn foolish for love. Korth devised a plan that he might never be betrayed by his own heart by taking it out and hiding it where no soul would ever dare search for it. He sealed inside a golden cask, buried it in the earth, and raised ar around it the fiercest mountain the world had ever seen, the Frostbacks, to guard it. But without his heart, the mountain father grew cruel. His chest was filled with bitter mountain winds that shrieked and held like lost souls. Food lost its flavor, music had no sweetness, and he lost all joy in deeds of valor. He sent avalanches and earthquakes to torment the tribes of men, Gods and men rose against him, calling him a tyrant. But with no heart, Korth could not be slain. Soon there were no heroes left, either among men or gods, who would dare challenge Korth. The Lady of the Skies sent the best of her children, the swiftest, the cleverest, and the strongest flyers, to scour the mountains for the missing heart, and for a year and a day they searched. But Sparrow and Raven, Vulture and Eagle, Swift and Albatross, returned to her with nothing. Then the Parmesan spoke up and offered to find the god's chief's heart. The other birds laughed, for the Parmesan is a tiny bird, too humble to soar, which spends half its time hopping along the ground. The lady would not give the little creature her blessing, for the mountains were too fierce even for the eagles, but the Parmesan set out anyway. The little bird traveled deep into the frostbacks. When she could not fly, she crawled. She hugged the ground and weathered the worst mountain winds, and so made her lonely way to the valley where the heart beat. With all the gods' terrible deeds, the heart was far too heavy for the little tiny bird to carry, so she rolled it, little by little, out of the valley and down a cliff. And when the golden cast struck the earth, it shattered. The heart was full, almost to bursting, and the pain of it roused the mountain god to come see what had happened. When Korth neared his heart, it leapt back into his chest, and he was whole again. Then Hakon, Winter's Breath, bound Korth's chest with three bands of iron and three bands of ice, so it could never again escape. And all the remaining gods named the Parmigan, honored ab uh, above even the loftiest eagles. The Parmigan and the Avar, Avar, tale, from Sister Ferelden, Folklore and History by Sister Patrine, Chantry Scholar. Resources found here, Alfruit and Iron. Well, this must be what it means, what are found in the Frostback. Uh, I already know about Elfroot, and since it's the mountains, I assume iron is found here. Something the Shem are so eager to use all the time. Okay, so... What is this? Um, smith. So obviously this is not the area of found Smith, or Apothecary. Get you anything? What can you tell me about this area? Adarnis Haven's Apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harrit is the Inquisition's smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the Quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Segret. His prices aren't too high. Yet. Oh, there's also my knave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Okay. Well. <laughs> Bye.
All the elves I've seen here so far have been servants, besides Solus. Oh, here's Varric again. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening anymore. That makes two of us. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this? Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that to sort itself out. I'm still not sure I believe that any of this is really happening. If this is all just the Maker winding us up, I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. <laughs> there's nowhere to run, Merrick. <laughs> nowhere to go. If they keep occurring... Everywhere is threatened. Some loot here, if I can pick it up. Iron, ah. Three pieces of iron. Okay. So I need two more and a lumber site of some kind. Okay, so I'm back to... This is probably like the uh, little hospital. Makeshift hospital. Well, maybe I'll find... Oh, more elf fruit. I've picked thousands of these in my time. I know them from anywhere. So it does pay to look behind all these buildings. Well, we're in the mountains. There's forests all around us. I don't see how hard it is to find timber. Okay, so I'm kind of doing circles. Let's, we, we still need to find some people. I don't think I've been in these two buildings over there. You dislike the Templar, sister? No. I know their purpose, but... You remember, I once ministered in a circle chantry. Yes, I assumed you were used to having Templars around, keeping us safe from the mages. The mages in the circle followed the Chant of Light as faithfully as the Templars, sister. More faithfully than some Templars, even. Some of the things those Templars did when they thought I did not see. <laughs> I assume this means a companion? Varric, okay. Requisition for weapons. Uh, the threat remaining, that's obviously... Haven's best and bread, so that's obviously, I think, where Cassandra's is. Let's go around this building. Probably find more elf root. Yes, I was right. Two more. Snip, snip, snip. There's some loot. You have to be a little... Okay, when it, once the circle comes up, you can actually loot it. Blood vitriol, blood, blue vitriol, and blood lotus. What is this? Uh, tier 1 common metal. Utility slot, plus 1 strength, plus 1 chance to stagger target on hit. Plus 1 chance to stagger attacker on being hit if you use it for defense. There's another elf root. Okay, so let's go in these buildings. Oh, here's Solus. The Chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. I've no interest in being a hero. All I want is to find a way to seal this breach. Pragmatic, but ultimately irrelevant. 
I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars both famous and forgotten. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. What do you mean, ruins and battlefields? Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time has a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. When I dream in such places, I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. That's fascinating. I know about going into the fade, but... Or, the beyond. But it's a good question. How can you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the Fade. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. I will stay then. At least until the breach has been closed. I think I'm going to like Is him. Is that in doubt? I am an apostate mage surrounded by Chantry forces, and unlike you, I do not have a divine mark protecting me. Cassandra has been accommodating, but you understand my caution. <sighs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to like him. He's a very interesting mage. Perhaps I can learn some things from him. Stay with Cassandra. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. Somebody left a book. <laughs> the Randy Dowager. <laughs> the Randy Dowager Quarterly. A well worn quarterly missive of suspect virtue. The Randy Dowager becomes the cool of autumn with the fall of another, the collected dreams of desire being the confessions of an apprentice and training more furrowing than harrowing. <laughs> Forbidden dalliances at their most spirited. The Randy Dowager ex ex exhibitions for the noble of thought. But spry of step, the lady herself calls enchanting, says enchanting, one supports a circle if only because closed doors offer the imaginative imagination more. Three scarves fluttered in shock out of five RD. I don't, I, <laughs> that's a little odd. I can only assume what I think it meant, but a little hard to follow. Apothecary, fun recipes through exploration or by visiting merchants. Visit an apothecary with herbs you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. Use the equip station to assign different potions to each of your party members and to replenish the potions you are carrying. Use the upgrade station to unlock permanent upgrades to your potions. To each of your party members, huh? So you need to use the herbs you gather in the wilderness to upgrade potions. Well... Do they have any concentrator agents so I can make better... Sacred asked, told me that he can't let the herbs go for anything less than eight. Fine. We'll gather our own. Tell Sacred he better hope he doesn't need a salve anytime soon. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, here's day two. Patient observations. Pulse normal, breathing normal, still unresponsive, careful drop feed or of prep. Elf root extract to hasten his recovery, a lot of thrashing. Mutters about too many eyes. Something about the gray. Encouraging? I, I assume this was about me. What's in here? A ring. Ring of attack. Plus two attack. I, mean, I could use that. I could use that right now. I have absolutely no... Nothing on me. Not that I brought any of my valuables with me. I didn't want to uh, lose them by being robbed by any sham on the way out here. It's a, a bit of a travel. Uh, we can't use our old alluvians. We don't know how to use them yet. 
Hopefully one day we will. Okay, where is it? It's accessories, ring of attack. Back. It's a minor upgrade. Very, very minor. <laughs> Look who's back from the dead. Again. I thought he had, like, diamonds and jewels all over around his lips. But <laughs> it's just the, uh, the reflection of the hair. It's Hopefully my new video card will take care of that, uh, or at least minimize it so it actually will fit in better. Because this just looks like they're all wearing plastic hair. <laughs> I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. It has been a rough few days. That's an understatement. And more ahead if the weather is any indication. Name's Adan. I'm in charge of keeping our little band here stocked with potions and elixirs. Not that Seeker Pentagast seems to care whether we've got the supplies to actually do that. For a healer, you don't seem particularly nurturing. I'm not a healer. I'm an alchemist who's forced to play Mother Hen. You want something to burst into flame on contact with the air? Done. Gladly. Patching up wounded soldiers is a waste of my time and talents. But there are a few around who can help. How are your people holding up? There's no shortage of work. That's for damn sure. Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. He died at the Conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. If I find his notes, I'll return them to you. How do I go about having potions made? Just take a look there and tell me what you'd like. Find a recipe for something better, I can make that too. Okay. Equip potions. Potion assignment and replenishment. You can equip or replenish potions for each party member. Drag potions from the list on the left to the slots on the bottom right to assign them to the current party member. You must replenish potions before you can use them. Healing potions are replenished for free automatically. That's good. But all other potions require herbs for replenishing. The type and number of herbs require appear next to the selected potions description. Click a slot in the bottom right to replenish an equip potion. So this has already been equipped. Uh, regeneration potion. Elf fruit. I have 10. Restores 26 health every 2 seconds for 60 seconds. Oh, very handy. Oh, I guess we unlock this slot later on? Well. Uh. I'm not sure. Did I read that wrong? Oh, okay. You gotta click on it. So I can't have more than 5 of this, this type. Okay. Interesting. So Let me know if you need anything. Upgrade potions. Alchemical upgrades. Potions. Use potions to restore health or enhance magic. Tonics. Use tonics to enhance resistance or augment combat. Grenades. Thrown vials that shatter and affect an area. Potion upgrading. You can upgrade potions you have already unlocked. To upgrade a potion, select a category, select a potion, then select the upgrade. Potion upgrades require a significant amount of herbs to unlock. In return, they give permanent and significant bonuses to your potions. That is nice. I actually really like this. So, healing potion. Uh, wait a second. And regeneration potion. These are what I currently have. Increases healing by a amount by 50. Uh, materials required 29 L fruit. I have five. I use them. F I use five for the uh, regeneration. And one dawn lotus. I have zero. So I need 24 more L fruit and one dawn lotus to increase healing two. Well, how do you? Oh, that's just to research it. Yeah. Okay. And there's increase healing two. Which requires the uh, different items. Generation potion. Uh, incre increase duration. It can increase healing. You need a lot of elf root. A royal elf root as well. Life word. Doubles the healing amount if the user is below 25%. Very nice. Proximity heal. Heals nearby al excuse me, allies for the same amount. So there's lots, lots to upgrade. Tonics. So I have no known tonics. And, yeah, no grenades either. Pass, uh, quest completed, mixing potions. Alright, guys, gonna end the video here. I had fun with this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.